light. This is the cutting edge on RFM and next Wednesday night. You know, the rainforest, may I tell you? Yes, very. I mean, whole heap of things are going on, man. Whole heap of things are going on. We don't even know where to start, but we're going to start still. Between America and Jamaica, no things are going on. Trust me. We want to play a news, news clip from, from America. I mean, it's unbelievable that we are listening to a news report on a, a station in America that sounds so. And it's supposed to be a first world country. That's what I'm telling you. See, America is a first world country. Serious thing, me I tell you. Me, I didn't listen to Maya Angelo and Phil Ransom Kute. I know why the cage birds sing. I've written a poem for a woman who rides a bus in New York City. She's a maid. She has two shopping bags. When the bus stops abruptly, she laughs. If the bus stops slowly, she laughs. If the bus picks up someone, she laughs. If the bus misses someone, she <laughs> So I watched her for about nine months. I thought, mm, uh-huh. Now, if you don't know black features, you may think she's laughing. But she wasn't laughing. She was simply extending her lips and making a sound. <laughs> I said, oh, I see. That's that survival apparatus. Now, let me write about that to honor this woman who helps us to survive. By her very survival, Miss Rosie, through your destruction, I stand up. So I used the poem with Mr. Paul Lawrence Dunbar's poem, Mask. And my own poem for old black men. Mr. Dunbar wrote Masks in 1892. We wear the mask that grins and lies. It shades our cheeks and hides our eyes. This debt we pay to human guile. With torn and bleeding hearts, we smile and mouth with myriad subtleties. Why should the world be overwise in counting all our tears and sighs? Nay, let them only see us while we wear the mask. We smile, but oh my God, our tears to thee from tortured souls arise. And we sing, hey baby Biden, we sing, hey, but oh, the clay is vile beneath our feet and long the mile but let the world think otherwise we wear the mask when i think about myself <laughs> i almost laugh myself to death my life has been one great big joke a dance that's walked a song was spoke i laugh so hard <laughs> i almost choke when i think about myself 70 years in these folks' world. The child I works for calls me girl. I say, <laughs> yes, ma'am, for working's sake. I'm too proud to bend and too poor to break. So <laughs> I laugh until my stomach ache when I think about myself. My folks can make me split my side. I laughed so hard, <laughs> I nearly died. The tales they tell sound just like lying. They grow the fruit but eat the rind. <laughs> I laugh <laughs> until I start to cry when I think about myself and my folks and the little children. <laughs> my fathers sit on benches their flesh count every plank. The slats leave dents of darkness deep in their withered flank, and they nod like broken candles, all waxed and burnt profound. They say, but sugar, it was our submission that made your world go round. There in those pleated faces, I see the auction block, the chains and slavery's coffles, the whip and lash and stock. My father speak in voices that shred my fact and sound. They say, but sugar, 
it was our submission and that made your world go round. They laughed to shield their crying. They shuffled through their dreams. They stepped and fetched a country and wrote the blues in screams. I understand their meaning. It could and did derive from living on the ledge of death. They kept my race alive by wearing the mask. <laughs> This is the cutting edge on RFM, as we are saying. So you are saying now, we are going to play a, a newscast where we catch on the radio, where, where American TV. And it is amazing that the newscast don't sound like America, even though you hear the American voice them, but the incidents in the newscast it's just mind-boggling that that is so, I, I, I mean trust me if i did the america i want to live now yeah if i did the america i live i'd try to figure out when we play in fear if you come back on my yard and go, go anywhere you live because i have never heard so much mix up mix up in america yet <laughs> It's not like a one incident, you know. It's like a whole heap of different incidents are going on. So, we're going to play the studio and go to the break and then come back with the, with, with the, with the news. Yes. Everybody know that with him there from longer time. Everybody know that with him there. All right. So, we want to talk about a situation where well, it's some situation arise, but what deal with the American one? If those of you who don't know, them actually shot a next black virgin in Atlanta. Yes, the police shot a next man. The weirdest thing about it, you know, is that you, you, again you can't see the whole incident on your WhatsApp or your YouTube or whatsoever. And this one is is, is even more. I mean, well, it's it, no more horrible, but weird. <laughs> it's more weird than horrible. Now, apparently, a black virgin must drink and him no one drive. In park, in a place where him not supposed to park, in a Wendy's drive through In park, so him actually did a block the traffic. We have to go through the Wendy's. Me and him asleep. Him get a call. The police him get a call. Say a man in a car apparently look like him drunk. A black the the Wendy's drive through. A policeman come knock on him car glass, open the door and say, "Sir, sir." Well, obviously you can't see the brother is drunk. No doubt about it. The brother is drunk. Anyway. The policeman tell him say he must stay in the car. The policeman walk go over to film car now. And you know them have them little machinery in there where they report this or I said that on the phone. And him come back. Him knock on the glass again and him tell the youth say, Sir, could you park the car over in the parking area? The brother comply with what him say and drive the car go over into the parking area the man go back to the car now where apparently the brother drop asleep again the brother come in and go back in the car go back to him car the policeman make two report and come back to the brother car again and knock on the door again and him did a talk to the brother like, and ask him if him drunk or more drink him, him drink and thing. The brother said not much. And the brother him and the brother talk about where, where the brother's not supposed to do or where he's supposed to do. So I tell the brother to stay in the car. Stay in the car. The brother drinks sit down in the car. Him ask him for him driver's license and him papers. Him take the brother license and go back to him car. When him go back to him car now, him, you hear him tell the police. And next police said, there's a man here, look like him kind of not sober and re, 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 re. 
him go back to the man hey listen to me man it's terrible now 40 administrators are going on you know him go back to the man you know and I wait for him police friend come and I yes the drama start now when the police friend come you can't see that different looking kind of policeman you know the policeman look like a hardcore redneck the policeman come now and him knock on the man will and the man come out of the car now the man this the, the, the man where did I lock on him car all the while the police stand up over the other side you can't see him in the picture but now is the brother now and the policeman you go see in the frame now the policeman asks the police where am I go him say the, the, the policeman asks him which part him I go him say some dicks the highway and put a pint over the road say dicks highway over there so the policeman say where is Dixie Highway? And the brother a pint over there, so. So now, him look at the brother and say, no, that's not Dixie Highway. Dixie Highway is about, like when I say, Dixie Highway is about six miles from here. Him say, no, him, 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 somebody left him there and tell him to get some food. And, you know, obviously, you kind of see the brother disoriented. Him drunk. I give the police that. Him drunk. And him don't know the hell what is happening. Anyway. The police turn up and uh, 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 ask him question. No, no problem now go on, you know. Every question where the police ask him, him answer it. And I say, oh, well, sure, sure, you know, like, sure, uh, yeah, I'll give you this, I'll do that, I'll do that. The brother decides I'm going to take now a test to see if the brother junk. He make the brother put him on him side. And tell him must walk in a straight line and count to three and nine. And then turn round straight and walk again. The brother comply with what I say. Man, this is amazing, you know. I mean, this is amazing. The brother comply with what I say. And he make the brother do it two times. And the brother do it two times. And now the brother say, oh, I don't want to make no trouble, you know. I'm not in, you know, just, I, I, you know, I mean... I, I can walk home. I can walk home. The hotel is just down the road. He said, why you want... You might try to trick the brother. He said, why you want to walk home? Is it because you're, you're drunk? <laughs> and the brother said, no, I just drunk. And the brother now... At two times, he asked the he brother why him did I drink. He said, Margarita, the first time. The next time, when he asked the brother why him drink, he said, something else. And I still don't know if the brother drunk, you know. But the brother, I comply with everything where the policeman has to say, like a little baby. All right. The policeman now tell him, say, must stand up straight and open him eye and follow him finger. The brother, the policeman hold up him finger up the ear in front of the brother's eye and shine a flashlight on him and I move him on from left to right. And the brother, I must follow him on. Then he put him on up. May I tell you? He put him on up. Like, hey, that didn't make anybody get nervous, you know. He put him on up in the ear and tell the brother, I must look up and look down and look now. Anyway, he done that now. He done that now, you know. You know what I'm saying now? He must go charge the brother for drive. Drunk. He never comes to the brother and drive, you know. He never to the brother and drive, you know. The brother is sleeping in his car and the other policeman wake him up and ask him. Anyway, him hold the brother and he twist it around and back for handcuff the brother. And the brother start resist the arrest. Him take out him teaser. Everybody know where a teaser is, right? The police have a teaser gun. Where them kind of almost stunted you like. It never kill you, but it just stunted you. Make you, make you, be, you, you be more passive. Him hold the brother hand behind him. This is all upon the police camera we are talking about, you know. This is a look upon, you are look upon the police camera do this thing, you know. All right. Him hold the brother now and for bend it behind him now for handcuff him. And the brother start with this arrest. The two policemen them fall upon the ground now. This is when the other police now jump on the brother now. Him take out the teaser and the brother hold on upon the teaser. Grab with the teaser and Shake out the two of them and start to run. When them start to run, and the brother, they like a good little, what may I say, like maybe, maybe like a, not, not even a cricket pitch. Maybe like a cricket pitch. The brother, they from him. The brother turn around with the teaser and point it at them 
and turn back around for run and the policeman shoot the brother in him back twice two times boy boy in him back and that was the end of him life that was the end of the brother life this is after like interrogation for 40 minutes the brother said it's all right we park the car and walk go home this is after the brother had sleeping at the car they will charge him now for driving drunk that tell me say a man must lose him life because him drunk and him never drive but here the policeman the first policeman tell him if he drive over the other side of the road the next policeman will come and say he might drive drunk and it's the policeman tell him must go by the other side of the road with the car you know? and the brother decides why well, am i going to sleep it off right there so him in a private parking spot in a wendy's and the brother had sleep in the car for driver for, for, for get rid of the the, the, the drunkenness we have. And the brother lose him life. Lose him life. In I'm back, the policeman shoot him twice. In America. This is meanwhile the whole America and the whole world upset by George George Flight killing. Here comes now. And next killing. You see the next, you see, this happened on Saturday, you know what happened? You see the Wendy's, when did I go? Them burned down the Wendy's. I am told from my sources in Atlanta, that is a little white girl to fight, burn it down. And the, and the people, them who see them, not them now nah reporter. Them says a little white girl do it, and them now nah reporter. Them know it's who, but them now nah reporter. So a next black man get shot at the hands of white police. Meanwhile, back in Jamaica, out of St. Mary, Stuart Town, a youth was taken off the road by some police. And them tell him for going out of the car. And when I'm going out of the car, them carry him go him yard. Knock up, knock up him mother, and the mother say, the, the, them say, you know that man, yeah? And say, yes, I'm his son. Where him live? Him live inside that so. Them say, apparently the woman say, and where him do? Them say, them, do, them look at the woman and say, where him do? Him don't do nothing yet. And them carry the youth round at the back of the yard. And all the mother here is doy. And when she around go on, she hear doy, doy, doy. Our son dead. Up to now, we don't hear nothing about that killing. Today, the people, them block the road and march, go down at the police station. We don't hear the man, where the man name, and listen. The chief policeman come out and say nothing. It's like it almost come like a revenge killing to me. For we go on with the other police, with the other two policemen, them will get killed. It's like the policeman decide say, you know, like how the bad man them did say, don't a man, man to go be here. Them shoot one away, a ten police are got dead. Well, as it come like that, that happen. So right now, not only in America, black people, young. Black youth scared for walk on the road, lest policemen shoot them. But apparently now the youth them in Jamaica, I forgot get scared when I walk on the road now because you're liable to get shot by police. So we're gonna find out what happened. We're gonna find out what happened. We're supposed to talk to the mother tomorrow. We're supposed to talk to the mother. But as I say, I want you to listen to this news clip here come out of America. It's amazing. It's amazing. Tonight, the emotional plea from the family of Rayshard Brooks, his widow's message as she holds the couple's young daughter in her arms. The growing outrage after Brooks was fatally shot by Atlanta police after a struggle over a taser. What the DA says about possible charges. The landmark Supreme Court decision on LGBTQ rights, what it means for workplaces across the country. And one of the biggest surprises, the justice who wrote the ruling. 
the grim new COVID prediction. When the U.S. could surpass 200,000 deaths, plus another major city halting its reopening as cases surge in at least 16 states. President Trump pushing forward with plans to hold his first rally in months in Tulsa, despite the spike in infections there. And late today, speaking out for the first time about Rayshard Brooks, what he said about the killing. Inequality in America, how black neighborhoods are still feeling the impact from a decades-old practice many say was driven by racism. And if you're planning a vacation this summer, is it safer to fly or drive? This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening, everyone. The movement that has sparked protests and forced change in police departments across the country is mourning yet another name. Protesters in Atlanta tonight, marching in the memory of Rayshard Brooks, a black man who was fatally shot by a white police officer on Friday after a struggle and foot chase over a taser gun. And while the circumstances are different than the death of George Floyd, the outcome and its impact is the same. And Brooks' family tonight is demanding justice. Our Blaine Alexander has late details now from Atlanta. Familiar signs now carry a new name, Richard Brooks. The 27-year-old shot and killed Friday night by an Atlanta police officer. I can never get my husband back. I can never get my best friend. The father of four fell asleep in his car Friday night, blocking this Wendy's drive through Someone called police. Hey, my man. At least six different videos show what happened next. Okay, how much are you drink tonight? How much? How much is not much? This police body camera video shows... Do you have any weapons on you or anything like that? I don't have anything on me. A so mostly calm back. interaction. Put your mouth over the mouthpiece, pull as hard as you can until you stop. Brooks taking a oh, field oh, oh, sobriety oh, 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 oh. test, which investigators say he failed. At one point, offering to walk home. My sister's house is right here. But 43 minutes into the video, as officers move to arrest him... I, I think you've had too much to drink to be dry. Put your hands on your back, boy. Things quickly escalate. Stop fighting! You're going to get tased! You're going to get tased! Stop. Eyewitness video shows a struggle. Brooks grabbing an officer's taser and running before he turns, appearing to point the taser at them. An officer responds with deadly gunfire. Brooks shot twice in the back. 27 years of age. No one walking this green earth expects to be shot and killed like trash in the street for falling asleep in a drive through He was always happy. He was, he was always smiling. And you'd have to kill him by one of his family members. Within hours of the shooting, the city's police chief stepped down. Officer Garrett Rolf terminated, the second officer on administrative duty. Today, Atlanta's mayor, furious. It didn't have to end that way. It pissed me off. It makes me sad, and, it makes, and I'm frustrated. The district attorney says he will announce this week whether he plans to bring charges. The question that we have to decide is at that precise moment, whether or not Mr. Brooks was in the position to cause imminent bodily harm to that officer or some other member of the public. The head of the union representing the officer says the process has been unfairly rushed and called for a thorough investigation. To allude to the fact that um, to people to look at the video and say the officer just shot him in the back, uh, I think that's improper to make that decision right at this point. Again, that's why you have investigations. The first call was because a man was asleep. Where is the empathy in just letting him walk home? For Brooks' wife, the worst pain was spending Saturday with their daughter Blessing, celebrating her eighth birthday, the day her father was killed. This is going to be a, a long time before I heal. It's going to be a long time before this family heals. And Lester, tonight, for the first time, we're hearing the 911 call that brought officers to this Wendy's. It's less than two minutes long. The caller, an apparent employee, when asked whether they believed that Brooks was armed or had any weapons, the caller responded, no, I think he's intoxicated. All right, Pete Williams tonight, thanks. As more of the country reopens, cases of COVID-19 are surging in some areas. And tonight, a dire forecast from researchers affiliated with the University of Washington. By October 1st, the pandemic could kill more than 201,000 people in this country. Sam Brock tonight on the growing concern. Under a fiery Florida sun, tonight the temperatures aren't the only numbers rising. So are COVID cases. Today, Miami announcing a pause in the next phase of reopening. 
Now is not a time to let your guard down. In the last week, the number of cases statewide has soared by 10,000. Florida's governor attributing the higher totals to more testing. But health officials are worried about the trend. I think it's been a pretty rapid rise over the past, like I said, 10 days to two weeks. And so that has to be a concern on its own. Concern also across the country, with at least 16 states showing a spike. In Texas, a record number of hospitalizations for COVID-19 and growing examples of people ignoring the rules. In New York, where cases have declined, the governor threatened businesses with cranking up restrictions after floods of people crowded Manhattan bars. People are violating everything. Everything. No masks, no social distancing. Uh, You're violating the rules. What are you doing? Similar calls for common sense in Nashville after images like this emerged from Kid Rock's Honky Tonk. And in Arizona, where hospitals have activated emergency plans, these bar goers in Scottsdale line the block shoulder to shoulder. Back in Florida, several bars shutting down today for cleaning after reported COVID cases. Joaquin Chamiso is taking every possible precaution to stop the spread and save his business. If you were told by the mayor that you had to shut down again, what would that mean to your business? It would be very difficult, to tell you the truth. It would be devastating to shut down again. States balancing an economic emergency with threats of a new COVID wave ready to crash. Sam Brock, NBC News, Miami. The spread of the virus is also a concern as the Trump campaign gets set to resume large-scale rallies this coming weekend in Oklahoma. The president today addressing that issue and the killing of Rayshard Brooks in Atlanta. Let's get more from Peter Alexander. President Trump tonight for the first time speaking out about the killing of Rayshard Brooks by an Atlanta police officer. I thought it was a terrible situation. I studied it closely. To me, it was very disturbing. The president now just hours away from revealing his executive order on police reform. But we want law and order. This is about law and order, but it's about uh, it's about justice also, and it's about safety. It comes as President Trump is eyeing a return to his favorite stage, those massive campaign rallies, now set to relaunch at an indoor arena in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Saturday night. We expect to have, uh, you know, it's like a record-setting crowd. We've never had an empty seat, and we certainly won't in Oklahoma. He says to accommodate ticket requests, they'll fill the 19,000-seat arena and a convention hall next door, the type of gathering the CDC classifies as highest risk of spreading coronavirus. And just as Tulsa's public health director says, it's too soon for this size of a crowd. My preference would be that that, uh, it be postponed until it's safe to actually have an event um, where people can come together and be a part of the the political process. Coronavirus cases and deaths are low in Oklahoma, but the numbers are now rising. The president's campaign manager tonight announcing that all attendees will get a temperature check, hand sanitizer, and a mask. But it's not clear whether they'll be required to wear it. President Trump is also bracing for an upcoming book from his ousted National Security Advisor John Bolton that the president says will reveal classified information. Any conversation with me is classified. Then it becomes even worse if he lies about the conversation. Bolton's lawyer has said the White House had months to review the book and says it does not contain classified information. Lester? Peter Alexander at the White House tonight. Thank you. In Seattle this evening, protesters continue occupying part of the city and demanding police reform. Jolene Kent is there with late details. Seattle is on edge. Protesters showing no signs of leaving this six-block area after taking it over a week ago. Now festive, crowded, and peaceful, demonstrators pitching tents and planting gardens this weekend in the newly renamed Capitol Hill Occupied Protest. We're here in peace and solidarity for a cause that needs to change. Their demands? Reduce funding for the Seattle Police Department, invest in the black community, and release arrested protesters. The president doubling down on local officials. But if they don't do the job, we will do the job. The Seattle Police Union blames the situation on local leaders. When you voluntarily surrender a police facility and you acquiesce to unreasonable activism, criminal activity for a political gain, To me, that's unconscionable. Mayor Jenny Durkin did not give specifics on what she'll do next. We're working with all people right now to move forward to find a way that we can accommodate First Amendment. 
but also make sure that we have a vital area for our businesses and residents. And since this occupied area spans several city blocks, police now say it takes three times longer to respond to 911 calls, putting even more pressure on leaders and protesters to resolve this as quickly as possible. Lester? And in Southern California, thank you, calls for an independent investigation tonight into two separate deaths with striking similarities. Both men were found hanging from trees, and while neither death has been classified as suspicious, the families want answers. Here's Miguel Almaguer. The bodies of Robert Fuller and Malcolm Harsh were discovered hanging from trees in two public venues, 10 days and 50 miles apart. Though police say neither death appears to be connected or shows any indication of foul play, tonight their shocking deaths are leading to calls for the state attorney general to investigate. We've been hearing one thing, then we hear another. And we just want to know the truth. 24-year-old Robert Fuller's body was discovered hanging from a tree in a park near Palmdale City Hall. The L.A. County Sheriff's Office first saying the scene appeared to be a suicide, then today deferring the official cause of death. Investigators will now examine the rope and knot to see how it was tied. And it is our interest to make sure that we leave no rock unturned. No, it comes as protesters demand an independent probe and a homicide investigation. We want truth. We want answers. We demand answers now. When authorities found Malcolm Harsh's body hanging near a local library and homeless encampment in Victorville, they indicated no signs of foul play. The cause of death still pending. But Harsh's family says this was not a suicide. I couldn't believe it because I had talked to him uh, Two nights before, and we had made plans to uh, see each other. The Harsh family also noted the current racial tension and protest in this country, adding the death of a black man found hanging from a tree does not sit well or make sense. Tonight, California's attorney general and the FBI getting involved, looking into the death of two black men, raising questions across the country. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Los Angeles. In 60 seconds, our in-depth look at inequality in America. The old practice behind why many black Americans still have trouble becoming homeowners. Also, fly or drive? What's the safest choice for your family in this summer of COVID? Yeah, you must get the picture now. I mean, it's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable that me I listen to our news from America. We have so much drama in it. But the last one is very... Peculiar. Two black men, them fine lynched. The one they don't come up big yet, you know, but it's something to think about. Two black men found lynched in at this time, and them are telling us they are suicide. The, uh, the family, they don't believe that. Me don't believe that. If we are gone, me see my son get lynched. I mean, now I got things here, some Ku Klux Klan business are going there, so. If me was a Jamaican and me live in America, me I find my way back in my yard. If me is a Trinidadian, if me is a Bajan, if me come from Haiti, me I find myself in my yard because that the place there, I don't know place for black people there in at this time yeah. Especially the ramp up, hey. Watch out, man. You, see, you, you know, you're the man going to keep big, big rally. In our place where 100 odd years ago was the, the most flourishing black business district in America, Tulsa. The most black businesses. I mean, when you talk about that, it was like Wall Street in America where black businesses flourish. And then burn it down. The Ku Klux Klan, the white supremacy system, burn it down. And who them for lynch them lynch. And who them for murder them murder. Terrorist group, you know. But America no see it as a terrorist group. And then we talk about America, America, the great America. So we just are try bring to your attention of just a weak activity between Saturday and now. I mean, the amount of things were happening since we left that Thursday and now, the amount of things were happening, man, it's unbelievable that's so much things. Anyway, 
we have what we call a, um, we have what we call a, a, a um, uh, birthday for where people go the first Rasta man, Leonard Howell from St. Thomas to St. Catherine to the world. Leonard Howell gave us a kind of light at the end of the tunnel for our freedom and liberation. That's why I say we really don't need no more liberator right now. We have so much. And Leonard Owell is one of them. Leonard Owell declare Rastafari and denounce the King of England when he realized uh, the King of England bow to Emperor Haile Selassie I. And people say, who is he that? I want to worship a man and look what I do to him country. He must take all meat and feed all animal. To that we say, I want blind man. I want have to see something else with other than one two eyes. We are talking about a third eye. A third eye. And that is really where we see we see Emperor Haile Selassie on a level where we go anyway, we can see we are going there, so. But in all we are going, you know, we see some little, as we say, light at the end of the tunnel because we see the police force, the mayors, and even Donald Trump, Trump has been forced to make some changes in the police force, like all the Trump thing there. Them say that illegal now. Them say that illegal. We don't know what in a Jamaica because it's amazing we are going to Jamaica. I mean, we hear them a boast about crime not gone down. You know. I want the people them know that, you know. They are giving the people them false information, you know. They are giving the people false information. The, the, the crime is not less this year than last year at the same time. It's like them telling. We know that because them send out release about how much people mur um, get murdered for the year already. And when we hear the, the, the chief people them attack, it's not the same figure as them get. It's like them telling. Somebody had tell lie, but as we can see, them draft a state of emergency. Why them draft a state of emergency? Again. Obviously, the state of emergency not working because most of the crime them go on in the areas where it's designated as state of emergency. It's weird. The crime them is going on in the designated areas of state of emergency. And we did here last year where them come out and say, all right, them have a plan, them have a plan, them work on a plan and now them um, unleash it in Jamaica. And now we see them going back with state of emergency. What is wrong with these people? They don't have no plan. They don't have no plan. Yes, we hear them at all about big gun, big gun. Them have, them have the police, them are wear armor where the man, them gun blow off armor and everything. That is really where we go on. It blow off armor. Eh? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right. You think they were make loud and eyes okay, so. Yeah. But I say the the armor them not working for the police them now. Because the youth them have some big big gun. I don't know where them youth get them gun the rasta. Oh them gun they come in the country. Oh them gun the reach in the country. Hey, you know, stuff for the nice behind them, Rasta. What are you now? Yeah. No worry, the cooking is at them and the fact that they're not talking to. <laughs> yeah, all them come to the corner of the country. We don't understand. First time a man have a little gun in his hand, you know the man them have gone with a blow up vest. They have blow up the police them vest. They make the police them get scared and they will start shooting. 
because I asked question later. Which apparently look like it's not happening up in a, in a Araka business. That's to our town. We a serious, serious problem. It's a little COVID over there, so a gunman over there, so a gunman over there, so a police over there, so. Who is protecting the people? Who is protecting the people? Now we hear America, them COVID thing ago, 10,000 people in a one week. Catch it, 10,000 people in a one week. It gone up 10,000 people. Them tests and fines so them have COVID in a one week. Just when we open border, we open border for the thing, most of the people that we are come from. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This thing, uh, this is amazing. The, the week, the week when the government of Jamaica decides they're going to let in tourists, and we all know that most of the tourists them coming from America. The, 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 the Minister of Tourism said they expect at least 6,000 tourists to come in here between now and next week. They might expect 6,000 tourists to come in here. They're not allowing the tourists them to come off at the North Coast. They, they put, when they land, they put chip in other people them phone that they can track them. No car, no car rental is allowed to rent them any car to go, when not even to go beyond where we call the North Coast between Negril and Port, Port Maria, them not allowing tourists to go inside of the country. Either them are going to Treasure Beach or if they are going to Bob Marley Museum, museum them not allowed to do that. Them put a chip in the, 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 the them put a chip in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, um, the cell phone them to the people them find out which part of them they to track them. That is not a good tourist <laughs> not that good tourist thing. You know, sir? you know why in our country where the government attract you anywhere you go or who you go amongst. But I guess that's how it's going at this time now. Yeah, yeah, they must just accept that. But the problem with that is this. The, you know, sir, a woman dropped down at the airport till you're dead. Anybody hear that one there? Eh? A Jamaican woman coming through the airport drop down and when them test her and rush her to go to her, she dead. I don't know if we make that woman the dead. I don't know is what. Maybe it's heart attack, maybe it's, I don't know. But these people is coming from the country with the most virus afflicted people. And we know because of the dollars, the brother the web name but but uh, he ma, he ma, I don't check up how much money the country going to make in the one week. <laughs> right, uh, he don't check up how much money already, you know. The man is not listen over there, so we are going over there. Them not listen to about 16 states when they open up their business. Look like they want to lock them back again because the, 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 the thing rise up and the people them again. Them now listen to Florida where most Jamaican there. Outside of New York, Florida. Florida the most Jamaican I think outside of New York, you know. Them now you say in a Florida, in a New York, the COVID cases arise again. Them now check say in a Florida, the COVID cases rise exponentially. I can't <laughs> the big word where them are used. Now say, it's where I go on. It's where I go on. When we listen to that news there. When we listen to that news, they were just, let me just play a while ago, the news from NBC report. People don't realize we are going. People don't really realize it. People don't realize it. Eh, it's not something intrinsically wrong. Now I talk about second wave. The wave not done yet. It's not no second wave. It's not no, I read that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. No, serious. It's not no second wave, you know. It's the same one I go on. The same one I go on. 
and we in a good position, but we drop a guard. We drop a guard by letting in American tourists in the country. I don't care what they want to say. That not, that not make no difference to the minds of the leaders, them of Jamaica, the people them who are governed the country. It not make no difference to them. Because them can't turn back now. Them can't turn back now. Them cannot turn back now. Because people don't book them flight already and them are done check how much money they're supposed to get. You know how much me supposed to go up on tour. You know how much tour me not get. You, you know how much you know much of my tour them cancel. I mean nothing said them about them about put them back to this year again. So me have to sit on a Jamaica. But what? Me prefer sit on so because they, I mean we may not find another country, but especially America. Especially America. Me na me, me no want nobody come to me and say, Muta, you want to see have a show for, for you or uh, something for you, you know, we'll give us a big money, you know. You better hold that. Come and everyone do it on Zoom. Come and free it. <laughs> uh, Zoom. Everybody talk about Zoom, 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 Zoom. Bro. The word alone get me scared. The word alone get me scared about Zoom. And the people that take advantage right now with the artists, you know, through them, them know what i people now. Hey, nobody, nobody that come to about Zoom entertainment. I, I don't pay me, you know, nobody have to pay me. And I tell you that. Because people are taking advantage of the Zoom, they want to do a performance, a Zoom performance, and they want this and this and that. You know how much interview me have to do on Zoom? Who are, are your little girl named Ngozi? Yes, who are your little poet daughter with name Ngozi, man? Oh gosh, man, the little sister served my heart, man. She, we are doing this Zoom thing, you know. And she do a poem there. And she has sent me a poem. Not, no, she has not sent my poem. She write a poem for me. And I tell you, when I look, watch a little girl, I tell the poem, I say, yes. Yeah, man. But let me tell you something in Gozi, and the parents have been Gozi. Don't make them do no more of them look at promotion thing they will do no. And no pay or no. If it's even like a pocket money for that school for the next three months. Because that is what everybody are trying to know. Everybody are keep conference, Zoom conference. You can come into the Zoom conference, Zoom this and conference, this and conference, that. Conference all over the place now, by Zoom. Because nobody not in the premier now. If you have conference, like chat over this, or like chat over this, or like chat over this. Chat, 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 pick, pop, pick, pop, pick, pop. Because people taking advantage of this new thing. This is what I'm calling now the new way of conferencing. You zoom everything. And then they want the artists them zoom everything too. So when me when, when you sit on your on a zoom, every week you get a show for you. And the people them want zoom you all over the world. How they make money? They make money. They make money. At least some of them make money. But they get all these top notch artists who perform now for zoom all over the place. Not now come to the artists. Not not coming to the artist. I mean, so long as my heart has sort of, and I might not come to me, but I must go, go, go zoom myself. Zoom myself, I come and look here. Uh, zoom, 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 zoom business. So you better know that, you know. It's like, you better know that. Like, it's like, I'm all right on my yard. I'm all right on my yard, you know. My yard is quite comfortable. Yeah, you know, I left, the only time I left my yard, is if I want some food, I can't do them, say. Which I agree with them now. I left my yard for food. Or I go up a medical farm and I have up there, so. And drink two things and I look down. I chop down something. I dig out something. Or something. And this right there. Or who are you listening? Listen to this. Slavery, the treatment of human beings as property, deprived of personal rights has occurred in many forms throughout the world. But one institution stands out for both its global scale and its lasting legacy. The Atlantic slave trade, occurring from the late 15th to the mid-19th century and spanning three continents, forcibly brought more than 10 million Africans to the Americas. 
The impact it would leave affected not only these slaves and their descendants, but the economies and histories of large parts of the world. There had been centuries of contact between Europe and Africa via the Mediterranean, but the Atlantic slave trade began in the late 1400s with Portuguese colonies in West Africa and Spanish settlement of the Americas shortly after. The crops grown in the new colonies, sugarcane, tobacco, and cotton, were labor-intensive, and there were not enough settlers or indentured servants to cultivate all the new land. American natives were enslaved, but many died from new diseases, while others effectively resisted. And so, to meet the massive demand for labor, the Europeans looked to Africa. African slavery had existed for centuries in various forms. Some slaves were indentured servants, with a limited term and the chance to buy one's freedom. Others were more like European serfs. In some societies, slaves could be part of a master's family, own land, and even rise to positions of power. But when white captains came offering manufactured goods, weapons, and rum for slaves, African kings and merchants had little reason to hesitate. They viewed the people they sold not as fellow Africans, but criminals, debtors, or prisoners of war from rival tribes. By selling them, kings enriched their own realms and strengthened them against neighboring enemies. African kingdoms prospered from the slave trade, but meeting the Europeans' massive demand created intense competition. Slavery replaced other criminal sentences, and capturing slaves became a motivation for war rather than its result. To defend themselves from slave raids, neighboring kingdoms needed European firearms, which they also bought with slaves. The slave trade had become an arms race, altering societies and economies across the continent. As for the slaves themselves, they faced unimaginable brutality. After being marched to slave forts on the coast, shaved to prevent lice, and branded, they were loaded onto ships bound for the Americas. About 20% of them would never see land again. Most captains of the day were tight packers, cramming as many men as possible below deck. While the lack of sanitation caused many to die of disease and others were thrown overboard for being sick or as discipline, the captains ensured their profits by cutting off slaves' ears as proof of purchase. Some captives took matters into their own hands. Many inland Africans had never seen whites before and thought them to be cannibals, constantly taking people away and returning for more. Afraid of being eaten or just to avoid further suffering, they committed suicide or starved themselves, believing that in death their souls would return home. Those who survived were completely dehumanized, treated as mere cargo. Women and children were kept above deck and abused by the crew while the men were made to perform dances in order to keep them exercised and curb rebellion. What happened to those Africans who reached the New World and how the legacy of slavery still affects their descendants today is fairly well known. But what is not often discussed is the effect that the Atlantic slave trade had on Africa's future. Not only did the continent lose tens of millions of its able-bodied population, but because most of the slaves taken were men, the long-term demographic effect was even greater. When the slave trade was finally outlawed in the Americas and Europe, the African kingdoms whose economies it had come to dominate collapsed, leaving them open to conquest and colonization. And the increased competition and influx of European weapons fueled warfare and instability that continues to this day. The Atlantic slave trade also contributed to the development of racist ideology. Most African slavery had no deeper reason than legal punishment or intertribal warfare. But the Europeans who preached a universal religion and who had long ago outlawed enslaving fellow Christians needed justification for a practice so obviously at odds with their ideals of equality. So they claimed that Africans were biologically inferior and destined to be slaves, making great efforts to justify this theory. Thus, slavery in Europe and the Americas acquired a racial basis making it impossible for slaves and their future descendants to attain equal status in society. In all of these ways, the Atlantic slave trade was an injustice on a massive scale, whose impact has continued long after its abolition. I was named King Fragrance. I don't know where I don't know, I make three children love, and after that, you know, you hear not more about him again. 
but I could figure out something else, you know, because I am seeing how the people them is mesmerized and drugged out. You know, we talk about Africa and African and how the leader them is corrupt, but we see this drug, this 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 opium, this heroin. We are talking metaphorically you now. This religion that is embedded in the minds of the people them. We hear people on the radio talk. Every time them talk. If a policeman shot a man on the road, them say it in the Bible. <laughs> no, it's weird, man. It's weird. If a man, if something happened to a man down the road, unusually like, you know, them find a man body and him foot hang up by the, him hang, him hang by him foot. You know, say it in the Bible. Why is it that black people love to put things into perspective that is happening now to a book that was written 3,000 years ago. I mean, we are talking about 3,000 years, we are talking about the so-called Old Testament, the Christian call it Old Testament, which is not no Old Testament for a lot of people. And I'm saying New Testament, which is not new for a lot of people. Now we know, say, the stories in that book is centered around Africa. And that especially in the so-called Old Testament that is that African thing I go on the so-called, you know, the geographical location of the different places that is mentioned. And then we hear about some people named Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel and everything there, who write certain things. But black people have a way of I tell you, say, yeah man, you see, they know, the word, the father come from the world, you know, according to Isaiah, according to Jeremiah, and all these things. But, you know, sister, you don't get, it, 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 you don't get mesmerized, man. It's, it's a mind control thing, I go on. Total mind control. You know why it's a mind control? Because after so much years, we look on black people's situation and condition, and we find say most of the people them, most of the people them who in the wala is people who is mesmerized by this book, this Christian idea. Most of the people them who is mesmerized by it. The majority of people them who give credence to it in a Jamaica is poor African people. And you, the, the thing is, the thing is that it is so embedded in them, it come like them on. Yeah, it come like them on all them foot, you know. It can come off. You know, see, no care how much, no care how much evidence them get for sure, you say, this thing here is not for you. It's not for you. It's a peripheral, peripheral African throwback in history. And most of it is not even history. Most of it is, 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 is men, men, and I emphasize men, who sit down and construct and reconstruct where them think or believe socially and politically at the time where them live. That is really where it happened. But a man come now and him tell you, say, see, you know, a Egypt this or a Babylon this. And the whole I will get caught with it, you know. The whole I will get caught with it, barring none. The whole I will get caught with it. And it's few I will jump out of it and realize, say, but wait, why me keep doing this thing? What it, what purpose it serve? What purpose it serve my ancestors? What purpose it serve my parents? No, that is living no. And what purpose it is serving to me? We have the law of the land that trump all the law that the men want to bring. That means say, a man can't again come to you, come to you and say, boy, right now, God tell him, say, he must take him son and carry go sacrifice him son. 
Him can't tell you that because the law, the land will charge him for murder or attempted murder. And whosoever conspire with him, whosoever conspire with him going to be charged. So the thing with it is that we live in a situation where we can't figure out. It is so deep in a way that we can't figure out about we it. You mean say we keep doing the same thing the same way all the while. We keep bowing down by with me. We keep asking some invisible something for this and that and that and was not. And we condition as a group of a people, as a people. It's the same as it started out, as it was starting out. The only thing that might benefit is it is people them who don't actually believe in it but use it. As the only people them that benefit from it. Them don't actually believe in it, but them use it. And most of them don't know how to use it to enhance with life and make with life be more prosperous and meaningful. But you have some people that come up and them know how to use it. That's why I'm trying to tell all women, say, him can't get demon out of them by having sex with them. Him know how to use it at team benefit, at team interest. And they laugh the land when put them where. They have a whole heap of them are collect people money. Poor people. They're not different from the man out there where grab people bag. They're not different. And African people still go there, go give them their money and make a book, tell them, say, them supposed to pay this to the Lord. I have a news for you. The Lord will have no bank account. Neither in Scotia Bank, Sajikor, or NCB. He will have no bank account. When, when I'm calling NCB, National Commercial Bank. He will have no bank account. And that is really a travesty in itself. Uh, nice tune. Levicated to Africa. <laughs> I tell you. So, we did not talk about this deep, deep brainwashing situation where African people find themselves in now over the years and we can't come out of it. It is so deep, it is so deep, man, that people in some serious problem and I say, God now give them more than them can bear. What kind of argument that? What mean God now give them more than you can bear? What, is, what can you bear that it's not more than the bearing. Death. Some people dead. Some people die, I should say. We, 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 it, it, I mean, look at Donald Trump now. People say me not the Bible, you know. People they say, um, where, where my name? Ronald Reagan in the Bible, 666. Because the three names they may have, have six different, six letters a night. Yeah, them say Ronald. Where, where make your name again? I don't remember where make your name, but it's supposed to be six, six, six. People say that. People say the COVID virus, you know, when you take the work. <laughs> a lot of black people and some like a right wing, white people come up with everything there, you know, and black people just grab and pan them something there, you know. You might talk about six, 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 like it's a bad word, six, six, six. What is wrong with six, six, six? It's six hundred and sixty six. So what's a man that gives six hundred and sixty six US dollar? You take it. A man that gives six hundred why you want to see me on grab six hundred and sixty six US dollar, you, know, you want it. Because we understand the six 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 business. Because what you tell me to get caught with it to you know? But yeah, me get caught with it to become and look at everything now, like the poor this and the poor that and the poor that and Vicar of Christ means this is hey, our white a white woman give them that's up there. You know? Yes, and it's done in a, in a history. The, the man who it related to, according to Philem history, you know, and Nero, there's an emperor named Nero, where them said Nero fiddle while Rome burn. Them said the man who are write this thing was writing for Nero. You understand? But black people take it, not take it personal. And feel say, anytime, anytime we write it now, Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, somebody remind me of Wilson, the middle name, Ronald Wilson Regan. 
him three name them have six letters in it. So right away him might be mark of the beast. People are talking about what them call it the vaccination. They might put microchip. People ask the vaccination. Them not the, most people ask the, them not take the vaccination because them think it's not gonna lead to other sickness, you know. Them tell them I take the vaccine, them not take the vaccination because they're gonna put a microchip in it. And when they put the microchip in it, it will be able to control you and it's the mark of the beast. The, my first thing is my health, you know. And if me if he said this thing here is not healthy for me. Me not to take it, but me not say me not take it because it have a chip in there. What kind of foolish is that? So even if it have chip in there, what you got to do about it? Well, the man them say, watch, you know, you can't take no plane unless you have this thing in here, you know. You can't get doctor, you can't, you can't drive your car. Because I saw the conspiracy go, you know. You can't drive car, you can't get medical attention unless you have the vaccination. So, Everybody get nervous and bummy. me. Meanwhile, they make a bad for them business see me, you know. All the people them who are bring up these things, you know. Look at more group, them take the vaccination and Ghana, America, Ghana, France, Ghana, Germany, Ghana, Africa, Ghana, where you see them, you say, no, go like you idiot. You understand? So, me, I say, no, oh, we follow these things to the limit, to the edge, we follow it. We depend the, on the edge of conspiracies where white people invent and put in our head. The fear of death is worse than death. The fear of death is worse than death. And right now, all people are saying, boy, right now, when we die, we're going to go there, and when we die, we're going to go there. They're afraid of dying more than anybody else. Afraid of dying more than anybody else. And black people, African people, who is domiciled on these farmers' slave plantation island, Really believe see a man will come save them and take them out of this. We will come from out of the sky. Me and the other man tell you about why Jesus so come. Me say, all right, God so come for him world. I thought God was omnipresent, like him there everywhere. So where I come from? Oh, we think them thing. Where, where I come from? Where go from to go where? We have this thinking. When I think about it, because I make you think critically. And if you try to think that way, then put something else in a way we call fear. Because fear, you know, religion is like, it's about fear, you know, control and fear, manipulation. See, this coronavirus is like a, is a, is like a religion, you know. Yeah, because it's a fear factor that drives it. You know, see, and if you do a whole lot of things, them, well, them have been telling you might be true, and some might be lie, but you don't know which one is life and which one is true. Because you some people that say, boy, the reason why they want you stay in the yard is because they want to put up 5G pole out of the road. That's when they're the man. Where people get these things from? Where the people them get these things from? They might put up 5G, then put you in your yard from 6 to 9 the next morning. We put up 5G out there. And some people actually go, they go take some pole. You know the two pole them along Eastwood Park Road there? Eh? Right at South Avenue at Eastwood Park Road. <laughs> Some people take the pole and itch it up in a picture, superimpose it for a picture over, over what they call it. Port War. I say, see there? 5G there, 5G there. I say, who's doing these things? Who, who, who's doing these things? Who's driving these things in the minds of the people them? Eh? Because it's not the man them who control the earth and do it, you know. May I tell you? The man them who can't, you know, you have about 300 people who control the whole of this thing, you know. White man, it's white people control this thing, you know. You know, them little offices where them call them, people have a, you call them Illuminati. The Illuminati is, is some unseen hands that is driving the world. You know, see, them do certain things in the earth. And you don't know it's who, but them know it's who, and it's only a few of them know who is who. And people are identified people like them know says them people there. Eh? See, they might drive the fear. Like say, see there, yeah. I don't talk about Donald Trump. Donald, Donald Trump could have a fight. Watch your man. Donald Trump could have been the one who had a fight yesterday because everything where him do for himself. He might do it according to what he might say. You know, see, man, the same one where they might say, no, he might, they might rule. Where him, 
Fucci, the one where the elderly, the elderly, I'm always getting news to them and I tell them, say, this is what will happen and this will happen. The elderly department of whatsoever, Dr. Fucci, Fuli, some Fucci, Chichi. He might, he might ask with Trump. He might ask with Trump, you know. Yeah, he might ask with Trump because Trump will do some things and he might say, no, I don't see the plan going you know. on. They walk outside of the plan, Bridget. <laughs> you know, see, stay inside of the plan. But you see, true, him is a wild card. He might stay inside of the plan, you know. He might stay inside of himself. So he might do the things them outside of the plan, you know. And after the machine, he said, no, Bridget, we never did plan it that way, you know. We have a ball out, this is a ball out, that far. You know, supposed to do that. Watch yourself, you know. Cause America love kill them, them, them leaders, assassinate them leaders, you know. But black people, those are PP, clack, clack, PP. And most of the people who are saying them have no feelings towards Africa. If that is the hurtful part of it. Them do have no feelings towards Africa. The main center of them being them no know nothing about Africa. Them no why you nothing about Africa. Because them center of the world is America. You know how much people them say six thousand people, six thousand Jamaicans sign up for come back to Jamaica. Six thousand sign up for come back to Jamaica. Me 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 cousin attack today in England. I me say, it's where I go in England. Why everybody will come back here from England and then bring the virus come to Jamaica? Most of the people them, who have the virus will come back and play. Are England them come from, you know? And America. But England. Where we feel now? Where we feel? Go to the Bible to figure it out. Go to the Bible to figure out what? Why we why we keep believing so we know uh, for some belief system we set up not from we but for them. And when Rasta come and I tell him, I say, well, right now, I just last thing. I say, want to get them fools is there from. I may create that for my liberation. Me create that for my liberation. You know, see? My liberation come through an understanding why I have through my liberty and my perception of I just last thing. So if you want go in a Bible and say it couldn't be that way and it couldn't be that way, I'm not looking at the Bible for validate my perception of Ile Selassie. I'm not looking into it. Maybe I was doing that 30 years ago. But you have some name, evolution, where you evolve and you understand it clearer. So you don't stop on old time sayings and old time talk and give me that old time religion because it's good for Daniel and it's good for this. So it's good for me. It's not good for me. Me create and recreate myself. You understand? So when we reach a stage and what me say, Emperor is the last thing, and you say, how oh, that be? How oh, that possible? That can be. Because when you look, man can this and man can that. Watch your man. Man can be one, man can be one. Man so sad, create man. You think say a joke in it? That little thing they were having in front of the name computer. And that little thing they were having in front of the name iPhone. Watch out. The man them a create machine now where all information and recall information to do certain things in terms of medical things, in terms of building this and that, where human beings is not capable of or precise in doing. The chances of a robot making a mistake is much less than a man who are make mistake because the mistake where the man make is more detrimental to the whole situation. They tell this man make the robot and the information the man put in at the robot cause the robot for react or do or design whatsoever. When a man talk about a maid as a worker, you going to have a maid, a robot maid little more. And what happened? The robot maid not going to not going to sick. The robot be going to guard your house. It's not going to sleep. The robot be more sensitive to anything when I move. Just like when you have 
King Alarm and all them things like a yard, and them have sense of light when nobody knows. And when you're going to serve, you hear, you woo, 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 you say, what? You don't touch no wire or nothing. Them have sense of light through red, what them call it, rays and all them something. There. The man them is making sensors where these mechanical things that they make can go into a machine and detect the faults of the machine before the human being. So as me I say, when you talk about maid now, the maid now go on, the robot maid not going to go on or leave. Until he said, boy, right now, me I work, I'm not getting to leave, me need leave. The maid now go work, the, 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 the robot maid now go work and say, boy, them want, I'm a raise up here. Kind of first, you never did appear them in firstly. The maid, robot maid, I go clean up your house, make it look like brand new house every minute. And if a board want to fix them, they take it and know say that one fix. And if you left the gas on, them know say the gas on, and them tell you, and them know say your fridge door open, and them know say well you don't have enough milk in your your fridge. Your milk is finished. Please read, stop, please. And you just go bam bam, and them just take. You, you go to Amazon and you just order your milk and you say, I, I will them call the thing where I fly, where, uh, the flight thing, the, uh, the little flight thing where everybody have bought the place and fly up and drop the place. So, the drone, the, 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 the drone just come and drop your groceries at the yard and you say, Well, you don't have to use no more gas now because you don't have to go down to the supermarket for no food. You just call. Add it through the internet and it come. Look, the people will have to go to the bank again. And them are bringing cashless society now. Some of them know how the man them on the street are going to work it out. And them youth will wipe the screen and all them. Some of them are going to know. They better carry them, 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 them cash. The way name there. If you swipe your card, we have a big money, you know. But I see them going to have card. They say, all right, man, I have a machine here. What a judgment. What a judgment. Who will ever face them world there? Because this is what I lead to, you know. Who will ever face them world there? Who would have believe, say, we could have stayed in some bush and talk right as or now, and millions of people around the world going to hear it. And tomorrow morning, when them post it on YouTube, another millions of people again hear it, and it just keep multiplying. Who will ever know say, that could happen? But it's happening right in front of our eyes. And when we are doing now, come like some old time thing to certain people. Because tomorrow no people are going to say, Oh, sir, I do what you do. I can't show you a better way to do this thing, you know. Yeah, man. It can. Gone. Remember when computers come in, some of the just mind people are telling you, boy, the mark of the business, you know, I don't mean, use no computer, I don't mean, use no cell phone because this, and, you know, the Bible says this, and the Bible. Everybody I use for now, iPhone, iPad, I streets that that. I rest them get them something from you know. They yeah, man because when rest of them say I and I and iPad and all them some people are say I want to get them i iPhones this day. But nobody now tell you say iPhone, iPad, iTunes. Them now say phones this. All them guys the job jobs and Bill Gates and them man they come up with them talk there. Eh? And a phone is like, what is an iPhone? Why them have iPad on it? It's an intelligent phone. What is an iPad, an intelligent pad? Why is it a pad? Why is it a pad? It come like thinking to with a pad. Why is iTunes? Why is it a i for iTunes? iTunes. But we don't recognize these things. We have to keep abreast with certain things and stuff. Well, like, so we're living in a primitive archaic long time days and know where I'm going not, the, not the, 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 the conspiracy but the inter how you use them things and all just like when I say if you know say this thing uh, like the religion will pass them and use for the people them the pass them know if you use the religion and reach themselves why poor people can't use the religion to make them life be better and meaningful. But they make the people them sell them an argument about say when you're dead, we're gonna happen. Eh? Why we do that? Why we do that? Why we make the people them trick with our way? This is the African people must do. 
African people must find out what is really the situation as, as it's related to the globalization and the what them call the new world order. At the, at the bush, a bush is that thing there, you know, new world order, you know. There is a new world order that is coming. And it do include Africa because the intention is not to have Africa in the mix of things because the intention is to just control and manipulate Africa without the, it's like how they would come America and when them see the Native American them them just say sure them are no people and them just take where the people them land and one of the president them actually come I remember which president to one of the president actually no not the president you know John Wayne that's a president John Wayne the great actor you know so them are planning to take off John Wayne um, them have an airport in California where them were rename it yeah just like all them want to get rid of the the road scholarship now you saw things that step up things that step up you know yeah they want to get rid of the road scholarship but john wayne actually say them have a right if you take away the native american them land yeah because them want to have the whole life for them say they have a right to take it away and look which part them did that come from way over europe and take it away. That's the mind of white people. And we think that them kind of mind you know, about the place again. But as you can see over the past weeks, that that mind is alive and well. So we are saying, now, when we look upon all the things are go, and everybody have progress and have moved forward, China man come and step over way. Really step over way, really. And are going to Africa and I take over things. You think the child man are going there with no Bible and no book for come show you say this and this and that? No, he might go there with him money and him expertise. That is what he might go there with. Why people come there with book and gun and give the book and shoot you with a gun if you don't accept the book? And you never realize that the book when give you have a, really, have a, 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 a serious relationship with you yourself. But after I'm done twist it and turn it and manipulate it, this have no con sig significance to you anymore. Because you don't know how to use it. You don't know how to use it for control, manipulate, and destroy. And that is all what him do, what him use the book to do. Control, manipulate, and destroy. You don't have that breed inside of you. But then now you read it, and it become a part of your psyche. But in your life, in your life, it's not doing anything for you in this time. Because meanwhile you're reading it and hoping and praying. I'm still there at teeth your land and I make others teeth your land. And it make you think certain way and it not it not organize it not organize you, organizing you. And it's not helping you to move forward. It's, it, it's like a static. Why do you think most of us want to go to church every Sunday? Because that is how we were brought up. That is how we were taught. You go to church on Sunday. As a matter of fact, you go party on Saturday. And go to church on Sunday and then go back to your work on Monday. And then you wait again until the next Sunday. And all you live for between the Monday and the Saturday is talk about... Oh, God, help me, please. Yes, people pray for you to get all them homework right. People pray for you to win lottery. People pray for you win the $700 million. All them things I'm going to pray for. Some people say, Oh, Lord, please come now for your earth, yeah. We can't take it no more. You see, they have man around the corner now. I take out man lungs and I get other people. Man, I take out my heart and I transplant it and all them something there. And we sit down around the corner and go on like so we don't see where I go on. You think, say, me I go sick and go to a person. Me not sick and go to no person, I go to the doctor. It's the doctor, me I go, me not go to no person. Person, you want to see me have um, COVID. 
No, no call the, the hotline, one lover, whatever them call the hotline and go to the hospital. And that me go to the center ambulance and come for me. Me not calling no person. How much people call person when they have pain in their belly? How much people, look how much people have cancer? Last year, 700 female was diagnosed with breast cancer. 700 people diagnosed with breast, women diagnosed with breast cancer. You think his person tell them that? I don't pass and tell them that. It's a doctor. A doctor who go to medical scientists to study medicine and the body, biology of the body and chemicals, and then come and then diagnose you and say, look, you have cancer. Person can't deal with that. When you want food, or you ball for work, where you ball for work for? Where you ball into work? Where you want work? And then when you don't get the work, you pray. And when you pray, forget the work. And then when you get the work, no, it's still not adequate. Why you don't get the adequate work? Why you don't pray for your adequate work that you don't have to you know, go back over and see your misery where you have? Something is wrong. Something is wrong with the thinking. Something is wrong with the meditation where we have. That everybody come and pass away. And we're still there so I grabble over where we must do and where we must do in the name of the Lord. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Me like some white wives sit on around some big chair and big corner, rock child and the, the, the rocket fellas and, and the dis... We are talking about the condition of the black people in mind and how we, we view certain things as it relates to the, the little bit of people that around the world. You know what I'm saying? 1% of American population richer than the world, 90 odd percent. Different 90 odd percent. And it's really true. And it, it, it's, not, it's not no whole heap of people like all the army of people control the world. You know? And when we say control the world, we talk about control the world. Our perception of reality is fashioned and formed by some middle class white men who sit down in an office or an underground bunker and decide what you eat, what you wear, what you drink, how you sleep, how you live, and your perception of reality, especially African people, because you have other people who sickly in other ways, and it's going through, and if you look on the condition, because we, we, we feel that we want to go ahead I don't think it's a we want one, it's not a we want one. one. When everybody are looking at collective security, everybody is dealing with a collective security, and we just are talking about me, 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 me. You know, look how the Chinese them come up there now. Look how the Chinese, they the Chinese. America afraid of Chinese like post now. Now we see India threaten the Chinese them. India are threaten the Chinese them. A country where Britain did have under subjugation for how much years. Them have, them have nuclear bomb, atomic bomb, and all them something there. Store up to show them, say, well, right now, this is a deterrent, you know. We are using that as a deterrent from Uno over the south. And now we see India and China is in luggage, you know, about borders and all this something there. We can even. We can't put a finger upon nothing, you know. We can't put no finger upon nothing. We Africa have. We have a whole heap of riches. I will keep boasting about Africa is the richest continent. But it has the poorest people them. So why the poorest people that have rich things in Africa? When it's, every, it's only individuals, only politicians. Ah, 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 ah. Full them pocket in a six bank in a France bank, and them and the French people, them who colonize them. You know, I think I last week, I said, look at what I said last week. They have, the, 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 the Germans bomb England. The Germans, them bomb England. And we, 
go fight for England against the Germans. And in this modern time now, the Germans can go in England just like that. And we have to have visa, we have to have this and that to go in England where, where our parents, four parents, fight for that place. And we can walk in England like all the Germans, they moved the bomb it walking there. We're going to see something wrong with that. I will tell you, I was, but we was part of the RAF, Royal Air Force. We're going to see, I will, watch out, man. Me have family in England and I'm afraid to come back. Come back to Jamaica, come spend a little bit because I'm afraid I'm not getting a chance to go back. Something not wrong, something not, something not look weird with that. We're going to find that weird, repulsive, almost repulsive, that we who fight for the freedom and liberation of England cannot go to England. We who enrich England to working slavery and all them things there. We are persona non grata in more ways than one. We who is a member of the British Commonwealth have a visa to go to England we who go to the Germany, go into Normandy and all these places, we, we, is not recognized in England. But the people them who bomb it and kill them is now free to walk into the Heathrow Airport, Agatric Airport, without any resistance, without any problem. We don't see nothing wrong with that. We don't see nothing wrong with that. Why? Something wrong with the Rasta. And when man like me I'll talk, you know, you hear say, well, we have stir up trouble and we have, we have put things in a different perspective and that's not the case and something like that. Look here, man. Black people are walk up and down with road scholarship. Road scholarship. And them know who roads was. Rose was one of the biggest murderers of Africans in a place now called Zimbabwe. It was called Road Disha. Half a road, Cecil Rhodes. How much people kill and murder black people? And black people is proud walking around with that scholarship that come from a white man who used to murder them ancestors. Murder them. And we don't see nothing wrong with that. We don't see nothing wrong with that. And if someone will come out and say we should have get rid of the road scholarship, here, here black people are talking about why? Get rid of what is what's wrong with these people? Can you imagine if a Jew who oh, six million Jews was killed by Hitler and the Germans then start a scholarship? in memory of Hitler, the Hitler Foundation of a Hitler scholarship, or a Nazi scholarship, and you have Jews lost in after that scholarship, that you have Jews that be walking around with a Nazi scholarship. That would never happen, never, never happen. And black people, a whole heap of them who get the road scholarship know the history of this man and I walk on that scholarship and I show up on them other African people. Say so I'm a road scholar. Road scholar what? What the road scholar what that mean? When you're a road scholar what that mean? You are more acceptable in the white man world. Why we think that way? Why we act that way? Why we behave that way? Why we can't see? The the intention of these people and how blind we are as a people. Why we can't figure it out? Why we can't figure it out? Why is a perpetual load burden from our back continuously to deal with a situation that's that simple situation, you know? And all we have to do is identify the enemy. And how we identify the enemy? Look in history. Look in history and realize who is the enemy of African people and see now how we can 
maneuver, because they maneuver ourselves all the time. Are we so conditioned into a thinking and an ideology and a philosophy that bind us so tight to these white mentality that we can't say beyond it? We can't say beyond it. What are we searching for in life as African people? What do we want? in life why is it that we have people African people telling other African people that there is a better life there is a better life somewhere and them telling about them make a group and believe say hell is ten times other than the sun and hell under the earth what the kind of foolishness is that what kind of foolishness is that the earth is 93 million miles from the sun and the sun so hot. The earth is not even almost a thousand miles long. The, 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 the diameter of the earth at the furthest point. I don't know, but it's definitely not 93 million miles. So if the sun is 93 million miles from the, the earth and it's so hot, and they will tell you, say, Ella under the earth ten times at that. No, no, we shouldn't be living on top of the earth. It would have made for a long time. It's joke. It's foolishness. It's foolishness. And you have black people walk on the place that think that heaven is in the sky and hell is under the earth. Hell is under the earth. You believe that, Bridget? You believe, say, heaven and hell. Look which part of the sun there. And it's so hot. And you are telling me, say, heaven hell ten times other than the sun, and it's under the earth. Under me, I don't know. Hell under the sun. Can you imagine if the sun come 10,000 miles nearer to the earth? The earth I don't think the earth is 10,000 miles wide. And we, they, they are sitting on a talk, damn foolishness, but we believe them something. There's some little group of people under the earth. Where I, where I will get exposed if we go under the earth. What kind of food is that? And you have black people that bring up them children to believe these things. Black people bring up them children to believe these things. May I tell you, this is...
Yeah, yeah man. May I tell you? May I tell you, man? That is a pastor woman talking. That is a pastor. That is not no just a woman. So it's just a woman who feel it. America. May I tell you in the name of God, them do these things. And we still, we still close your eyes. We still close your eyes. We have to look upon a man under the knee, under the knee of a white supremacist police. We jolt with spirit, we jolt with heart and with soul and with mind and with being. We say, no, this, this is too much. That is what happened. I mean, the years of struggle where other Africans come, come struggle, where Africans die for. This is our reach. How much more will have to die? How much more? How much more we have to see from the iPhone under the knees of a white supremacist to wake up to reality the reality that we have to stand up not lay down stand up not kneel down we've been kneeling so long we've been kneeling so long and what has the kneeling done what is the effect of kneeling We've been praying so long. Why our prayers are not heard? Why we keep doing the same thing the same way all the while and expect to get a different result? African people, we can't say. Look on the lifestyle of the preacher, them. Them behaving like them is a pop star. Them be like them is pop star. And every come time come, them take over money. Why we continue to feed into that? Why? Why we continue to feed into it? Wake up. Wake up. Are you are you gonna wake wait to see another African man under the knee of a white man? You know much you know much of them think there. People say hundred years ago and even less. You know much of them things there. African people witnessed in America, not only kneeling in a man's neck, but lynching pan light posts and pan tree. That we have become strange fruits. Strange fruits. Of House of Nicaea. Uh, was an effort by, by Constantine to control the people through military and through religion. Whoever can control your concept of God has a weapon more powerful than, than, than any physical weapon, than any sword, any, any gun, any atomic weapon. Whoever controls how you relate to the unseen presence of God will not only control you, but can control your children and your children's children. So it was at the Council of Nicaea that the Constantine, this emperor, needed to find a way to consolidate his power because the people that he conquered in various parts of the world had different religions, different, different ideologies. And it was at <coughs> Nicaea where he brought together these theologians, these, these scholars, if you will, to hammer out one uniform theology that everyone would follow. And if Constantine could convince people to take Jesus as God on earth and change that he was a human being, then they could take over the control of the Catholic Church and make one. So they invited. And one of the priests was an African known as Arius. Bishop Arius. There's a book called Blacks Who Died for Jesus by Mark Hyman. Here's the story of Arius. Arius now gets word that Constantine knows Arius is coming to, to dispute this. Because he's saying, how are you going to tell people this? That, nobody's going to believe that story. 
that, that immaculate conception? Come on, you know, that's written on the walls of Egypt. That's a mythology. That's an analogy. You're not supposed to believe that story. That's a nice story to live by, that each and every one of us has Jesus within us and every birth is an immaculate conception. But there was no one boy born as the son of God to free. Come on, you, you, you can't. Constantine said, look, come on over here. Nice see you. I'm going to talk to you. He found out that he was going to be assassinated. So he fled into Europe with his followers. Arius and his followers became known as the Arians. Wouldn't Hitler have a heart attack if he knew who the real Arians were? They were a bunch of black folk. Everybody who was worshipping Isis and dealing with mostly a comedic religious philosophy, they said, we can't do this. This is ridiculous. This reminds me, there's no man called Jesus Christ. We ain't never heard of him. Well, Jesus Christ will take Hesus, which was the, the sun god in the West, and we'll take Christos, which was the sun god in the East, and we'll put them together. We'll have a, a name. And so what did he do? A man named Apollonius of Tyana, at that time, who had studied philosophy in Kemet, was teaching. He was a healer, working miracles. He was a hero at that time. So he became the template for Jesus Christ. Yes. This is the cutting edge on RFM. So you talk about the strange fruit a metaphor for African people who was lynched on trees. We want to play a rendition of the song called Strange Fruit. For those of you who have never heard it yet, it has been done by many artists. It is done by Nina Simone. It, so much artists have done it, but we're going to play this one because I think this one is the one where struck to the core of people being when them hear it. Black bodies hanging, man. I tell you, we are doing some serious disservice to our ancestors. When we behave now like dummies and walking dead and forget and even ignore what our ancestors went through because we were not supposed to be here we were not supposed to be here but we survived we survived and we're still there and even though the conditions that we are here in is not conducive to life happiness but we have the potential and we have the history to rise up rise up and if we go on and go on and go on and don't recognize that it is sacrilege to not even think about your redemption and all you can think about is your destruction because kneeling clasping and, and all these things will lead to our destruction if we continue if we continue you know yesterday was the the ninth year since a white supremacist youth walk going to a church sit down with them and I pray and then take out a gun and kill them I don't remember if it's nine or eleven people him kill him was charged for murder and sentenced to death in our church the man walk going to the church sit down with the mad people them in there and I pray and then take out a gun and kill them nine years ago or seven years I'll mix it up now it's a terrible thing